Three way. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. That's three way. Yep. First, so. Interesting name. <laughs> if I don't like it now when I'm drunk and <laughs> starving at 3 a.m., then I will never like it. Yeah. It really tastes German. <laughs> German approved. <laughs> Cincinnati, you heard it here first. <laughs> That's my really, favorite so I mean, far. 10 out of 10. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 yeah. yeah. Servus and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Feli. I'm originally from Munich, Germany, but I've been living here in Cincinnati, Ohio on and off since 2016. And this is my brother Timo. You already know him from a couple other videos that we yeah. did together. Hi guys. He's visiting me in Cincinnati right now together with his girlfriend Steffi. Hi. It's her first time in the US actually. Yeah. And it's currently the last day of their stay here in Cincinnati. You stayed here for like about 10 days. 10 days, yeah. yeah. How was your time so far? A perfect time. <laughs> yeah. Very yeah. American time yeah. because uh, I mean we stay a lot in in Cincinnati, so mm -hmm. we really mo focus more on the everyday life, I'd say, and yeah. not travel yeah. uh, through the country. But that's why we, I think we had the American experience. Yeah. So I mean, went, went to the movies. Yeah. Went bowling, bowling, went top golf, top golf yeah. <laughs> baseball game. All the things you can do in the US pretty much. And the reason was kind of that he had never seen my house before that I bought a year and a half ago. Yeah. And she had never been in the US at all. So yep. that was the occasion. But one thing that we haven't done this entire time is try certain Cincinnati foods that are typical for the Cincinnati region. And that's what we're going to do today because we thought, okay, since we haven't done it yet, we're just going to do it on camera and share it yeah. with you guys. <laughs> and I'm actually very curious to see their reactions. Yeah. So what we have here today is Skyline chili on the one hand and we have two different dishes from Skyline. We have the classical three-way and the chili cheese fries. And if you're not familiar with Skyline chili, technically Skyline is just one brand of different brands of Cincinnati style chili and it's something that Cincinnati is known for and famous or infamous for because people who grew up with this usually love this stuff and when they move away they really miss this but the people who move here or who visit think that Cincinnati chili is very weird. <laughs> I am personally not the biggest fan. I mean, partly it's I'm vegetarian too, but even though they do have a vegetarian or vegan option now, I'm not the biggest fan of the flavor. Ben, on the other hand, my boyfriend loves it. Um, and we're gonna see what they think. So yeah, we got the three-way, which is spaghetti, chili and cheese, and then the chili cheese fries, which is just mm -hmm. fries with the chili and then the cheese. Then we got getta, which is a very typical Cincinnati thing too. It's kind of weird how it's spelled. In German, you would almost think that it's pronounced Goethe, but Germans don't usually say this word because it's not a German word. A lot of Cincinnati people think that this is actually a German dish, and then they'll ask me and be like, hey, Feeny, have you tried the Goethe yet? Is it, is it authentic? And it's like, well, we don't have that in Germany. Nope. So it's basically something that German immigrants brought with them from Germany. So it's, it's based on a regional German delicacy and then they brought that with them in the I think 19th century or 18th century when they moved to the US and then in the Cincinnati region they kind of developed that recipe with the ingredients that they had because it's a meat-based dish so I think it has beef, pork and oats and basically meat was very expensive at the time. Most immigrants didn't have a lot of money because they left everything behind and so they then cut all of that with oats and other grains and cheaper stuff that they had. So that's what's something that we're gonna try. Usually yeah. this is like breakfast food, I think. I mean, I've honestly never had it because I'm vegetarian. <laughs> Usually you have this with eggs and other breakfast foods. And then last but not least, this is something that I have tried and that I personally love, is Grater's Ice Cream, which is a local ice cream place, store. It's a chain that you can also, I think, get in other parts of the US. You can also buy this at the store in Little Pints, but we got this at the actual location. Yeah, and we get four different flavors. Now, to yeah. you guys, okay. what do you want to try first? All right, I would try uh, the three-way. Yeah, it's called, yeah three-way yep. first. So. Interesting name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not going to say something about that. I should say, yeah. this is your guys' breakfast, right? You're pretty hungry. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So hopefully that's going to be in Skyline's favor. Yeah. <laughs> Of course, we are a little bit skeptic because you're a skeptic. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, then just okay. let's try it. Okay. Yep, go ahead. We'll be a little messy, I guess. Uh -huh. That's okay. Oh god, I got so, so many cheese. <laughs> Wait. I think the I'm cheese fine. is a little melted right now. <laughs> yeah. Usually when you get this at the restaurant, you'll have like a whole pile of cheese on top. I'm but going. we had to reheat it at the end. Yeah. So, okay. the so it will be cheese. really <laughs> cheesy, but uh, I'm hungry, so that's yeah. fine. <laughs> Cheesy, yeah. Okay. But it's like spaghetti bolognese. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah, my first kinda. impression was like spaghetti yeah. bolognese, like on a ski cabin. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Like when we're uh, for lunch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kids. 
So a hard thing to eat is the spaghetti are cut. <laughs> yeah, not that's as, the thing. Yeah. yeah, normal spaghetti would be uh, would yeah, be longer. Yeah, I take it back that it's like spaghetti bolognese. Right? Yeah, normal <laughs> spaghetti in Europe would be yeah. longer, but in yeah. the US, people usually cut their spaghetti, which mm -hmm. is kind of a sin to do mm -hmm. from a European standpoint, especially if you're Italian, of course. But even in Germany, people do not cut their spaghetti yeah. Yeah. unless you're a kid. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's true. I mean, mm -hmm. other than that, the, the like pasta itself yeah. actually tastes kind of good. It's known to have a lot of different spices in it. Does mm -hmm. it taste sweet? Does it taste cinnamony? It smells cinnamony, mm -hmm. but I don't taste it really. Okay. So. Yeah, maybe a little bit because mm -hmm. it smells like has a lot of cinnamon and mm -hmm. I think it also smells a little like Indian food. Mm -hmm. That's like true. Yeah. Little mm -hmm. Indian spices. Actually, I like it. Yeah. So, yeah. so technically, yeah. what we should say is that it's not your typical chili. It doesn't really have beans. It's really just more like a bolognese, as she said. Like yeah. it has its ground beef, I think. I think it's beef. And just a sauce, basically. It doesn't really have a lot of other ingredients in it. And from what I know, it was brought to the US by Greek immigrants. Okay, do you want to try the fries? Yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> we definitely had chili cheese fries before. Yeah, yeah. So but not see. with Skyline yeah. chili. Cheers. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I like it better than yeah, the freeway. I would also agree because the other thing reminds you of spaghetti bolognese and you definitely had better ones, so, mm -hmm. but uh, the chili cheese fries are yep. very good. Okay, very good, yeah. good to know. I haven't even had those. I've had the three-way several times because I gave mm -hmm. Skyline Chili a lot of chances, like yeah. <laughs> three or four chances. And then one time I was like, okay, I'm going to try it after partying. So this was like back in 2016, I think, when I was in college doing my exchange semester. And there was all these other people that were like, wait, what do you mean you don't like Skyline? You haven't tried the right things then because everyone loves Skyline. Mm -hmm. So we went out to the bars and then after the bars, we were all hungry. We went to Skyline. I was like, okay, if I don't like it now when I'm drunk and <laughs> starving at 3 a.m then I will never like it. Yeah. And then these other people were like, okay, we're gonna order for you so that you get the right items. And they ordered for me and I still didn't love it. So that's how I knew that I really <laughs> didn't like yeah. this stuff. Okay, so I mean, would you would you order this if you came back to Cincinnati? Would you be like, okay, let's get some Skyline? It's, it's, a, it's a good question. <laughs> the hard thing is uh, the choice you have. Yeah. I mean, yeah. when you're at a place where you have several fast food places, I'd probably not go for Skyline. Okay, yeah. I think it's not my favorite choice. Because we had other things yeah. mm -hmm. on the trip. For, for example, Chick-fil-A mm -hmm. or you Wendy's and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. wouldn't Express. be my first choice. Yeah, Panda Express. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I mean, right now I would just demolish this. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, because yeah, you're hungry. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's try the other things okay, first. Yeah, yeah. We got uh, a little bit of scraps from the skyline okay. and we got the getter. We just made this at home, actually. This is Glier Scatter, so the brand Glier. Glier. Now I said that very German. <laughs> Glier. <laughs> Sometimes it's served as a patty, but Ben made it and he just kind of scrambled it. That's another way that you can serve it. Usually, as I said, you'll have eggs or something with mm -hmm. it. In this case, we just have the yeah. getter. Mm -hmm. It should be kind of similar to like Fleischpflanzer, maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely. Like mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it definitely tastes pretty similar to mm -hmm. German or Bavarian Fleischpflanzer. Mm -hmm. I think it tastes like Griebenschmalz. Okay. That's a, bit, yeah. a bread spread with fat and onions, and yeah. I think it tastes like it. Yeah, yeah because you have like the oats mm -hmm. yeah. in that. Yeah. That's my really, favorite so I mean, far. Yeah, okay. It really, mm -hmm. really tastes German. <laughs> mm -hmm. I have to say that. Really? Okay, yeah. interesting. Yeah, that's good. I can see this in mm -hmm. Germany. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, I'm usually not the right person to ask. Yeah. Because yeah my first feeling would be dish. like put a little mustard here okay. and mm -hmm. have like uh, potato salad on the side. Mm -hmm. That would probably be the German way to eat it. I mean, yeah. that's how you, we usually eat like yeah. flesh plants yeah, and exactly. stuff mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, but that's good. Mm -hmm. yeah. So after we're done filming, that's probably mm -hmm. what you guys are gonna eat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel like it just tastes like flesh plants with with oats basically it's um, a little bit more oily okay but kind of yeah i would agree i think it's probably the same meat mix so mm -hmm. flash mm -hmm. normally have, has pork and uh, beef and so does this mix. yeah yeah exactly so yeah. this alone and then normally flash would have like bread mm -hmm. in it and now it's oats so mm -hmm. it tastes pretty good 
Nice. I like it so. <laughs> Have a little. <laughs> yeah. And more before we start with the ice cream. <laughs> That's yeah. true. It's kind of the wrong order. <laughs> no, it's the perfect it's order. Like, a little <laughs> bit of this, a little bit of that, and then a lot of this. Yeah, I'm ready. We went to Graders, and yeah. you both chose two different flavors. So yeah. what did you get? Uh, yeah, or do you yeah. even know if this is the right one? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, it's, it's yeah. the right one. Here's so the marshmallow. I have, yeah, I have um, cookie dough and chip mm -hmm. and a peanut butter chip. Okay. Yeah, and I had a s'mores and cookie and cream. Let's go. Uh, let's you go. Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. Let's go uh, ahead and try. So this is s'mores. It's already a little bit melted, yep. but that's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I love it. <laughs> I love it. I'm so glad that we take two big ones. Yeah. <laughs> we have to say the lady in the store said s'mores was her favorite yeah, too. Mm -hmm. So and they this were so is nice. uh, cookie and cream. Okay. I think. Okay, this is good too. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to say. This is really good. I mean, yeah. you How have to say that you love American ice cream. Mm -hmm. So Ben and Jerry's is like one of my favorite ice creams. Yeah. And this is even better. Okay, yep. Cincinnati, you heard it here first. <laughs> Greater's beats Ben and Jerry's. Yeah. I mean, you should say Ben and Jerry's is available in Germany to mm -hmm. buy. It's yeah. usually pretty expensive, yeah. but yeah. that's like how Germans know American ice cream. By the way, if you're curious about the differences between American ice cream and German ice cream, mm -hmm. I have a video about that. I'm gonna link that up here for you, and I'm gonna link it down below. So what is this? Cookie dough and uh, peanut. I so this is the. Yeah, I do think you know which one is which. I think it looks I like think, yeah, cookie. I mean, I I got it because I like to eat. Like both of, yeah. of those at the mm -hmm. same time, so I'm trying this <laughs> right away. Mm -hmm. so I mean, good. yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's awesome. I lo just love like chocolate and peanut butter. Yeah. So I'm mm -hmm. a big, big Reese's fan also mm -hmm. and Snickers and stuff. So, of course, this was a good choice. <laughs> Sehr gut. Yeah, I love it. Do you want Here to try it. next? Mine? Oh yeah, you can try yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's too much. I'm just sitting here all jealous. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Watching I mean, it. you can try it too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see the s'mores mm -hmm. one. I actually want to try the s'mores because I don't think I've had their mm -hmm. s'mores flavor. I think it's really good. Yeah, yeah it's it. probably the best one. Mm -hmm. We're all family, so we can all share yeah. s'mores. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that's good too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so what's your opinion? And um, when you compare this to ice cream that you get in Germany or in Italy? I think it's more like a heavy dessert. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the gelato in Germany is more fresh and when it's really hot outside I would prefer that. Like it's yeah. like a refreshing thing, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 yeah, that's the crazy thing in Germany. Once the first spring day comes around, all the ice cream places, all the ice cream parlors have long lines. Yeah. Yeah. I don't feel like that's that big of a thing here. People eat ice mm -hmm. cream all year round. Of course they eat it more in the summer, but it's mm -hmm. not like, okay, that first day everyone just needs <laughs> yeah. ice cream because it's like above a certain temperature. But yeah. in Germany, that's really... That's yeah, that's thing. true. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Our uh, ice cream place we would normally go to usually also switches uh, when the like cold months come. Mm -hmm. Can come around so in the summer months it's an ice cream place mm -hmm. in the winter months it's Lebkuchen place. Oh, yeah. so the gingerbread, you, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You, you can't even get it in the winter. Okay, right? I didn't and even know that. Normally, when it opens up, we would go on the first nice day yeah. and get our first ice cream of the year. Yeah. But I totally agree uh, with what, what Steffi said. So yeah. this is not really a summer dessert. I would get that all the time because mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. for me, it's like more when I'm at home and uh, this is my dessert mm -hmm. like on the couch. But when I'm like in the city and it's hot outside, I prefer gelato. Yeah. Well, what you can also get at Graders is milkshakes. And I think that's what mm -hmm. I prefer in the summer. Like, I almost like it better to just have a Graders milkshake because it tastes yeah. the same, but it's like, yeah. you rock around with it. It's kind of refreshing, like it's a drink. Mm -hmm. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool. I just keep eating. But now you mine. switched, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give me mine back. Yeah. Give me my s'mores. Yeah. Okay, so before you guys finish the whole ice cream, mm -hmm. let's do a final rating. Mm -hmm. So, Skyline, Geta, and Graders. Like, mm -hmm. I guess out of 10, okay. how would you rate these? Mm -hmm. mm, Geta was my favorite, so okay. I think I would go 8 out of 10. What would you say? It's hard when you go first. We normally uh, <laughs> agree on most things, <laughs> but you can see the couple's dynamic. Yeah. <laughs> no, I would say I would also give it an eight. So okay, okay. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. it's a little bit boring, but I would. Mm -hmm. That's okay. So we got Geta eight out of ten. So basically, eight. 
German approved. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> totally. Yeah. But then let me go first on the other one. Yeah. yeah. So Skyline, I mean, I liked it. I liked the fries more than the uh, mm -hmm. three-way. I think I would give it an, a six out of ten. Okay. A little yeah. bit skeptical, but yeah. I would still... Uh, yeah. On a night out, definitely eat it. Okay, so, so it's not a total fail. Yeah, so I, I mean, for me, I would like give the three-way probably a five and the fries a seven and together okay. makes it a six. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> One thing that I didn't ask earlier, did you feel like the spaghetti were just completely overcooked? Like very soft yeah, spaghetti? Very soft. Yeah, very Yeah. Because that's what I always felt like. I was like, why yeah. is it overcooked spaghetti <laughs> with some weird bolognese? <laughs> okay, so what's yeah. your judgment on that? I would give the fries a six. Okay. Out of okay. Ten. Yeah, yeah, and I think I have to say the freeway, um, like a four. Okay. I didn't like it so much. Yeah. So you wouldn't necessarily eat it again. No. Okay. No, that's fair. Yeah. I think that a lot of people agree with that. Yeah. Probably most people who didn't grow up in Cincinnati would agree <laughs> with that. I'm sorry. All right. Okay. Yeah. So that's the final rating for Skyline, yeah. and then graders. That's just one answer yeah. for me. Okay. <laughs> me too, I think. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it has two digits. <laughs> <laughs> 10 out of 10? 10, 10, 10 out of 10. 10. Yeah. Okay, yeah. awesome. <laughs> well, cool. That was a lot of fun. If you guys want them to try anything else next time they're here, because they're not here now, or I yeah. could also bring something to Germany the next time I go there, sure. let us know in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. If you've tried any of these things before, I know that people from other parts of the US don't even necessarily know about Geta or Cincinnati style chili, so if you've even heard of that or, or tried it before, let me know in the comments what you think of it. Or are you like, wait, that sounds really weird. That sounds like a weird Midwest thing. I don't know if I would even try that. Um, but yeah, and also let me know if you can get graders where you are in the US because I know that they sell this in other places. I feel like they should sell it nationwide. I don't know if they do. Yeah, hopefully they do. <laughs> I mean, apparently it's better than Ben & Jerry's. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what I do on my channel, make sure you subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram, TikTok and Facebook for more content. and. Also also check out my podcast, Understanding Train Station. Thank you guys so much for doing this with me. Thanks Thank so much for having us. <laughs> yes. I will always be nice to try more food. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I will see you next time. Tschüss.